was delicious. In Ishmal has the best food in Tekabatani that doesn't cost a fortune to put in your mouth. <laughs> Are you still whining about that? Mataharian food isn't spicy. The western half of Antaram just doesn't give their food any flavor. Well, you're living here now. At some point, you will have to get used to the spice. Unless you want to seek out stealing dishes every day. <laughs> Worry not. If you cook your own food, you can adjust the dishes to your own taste. Not to mention, not every Mataharian dish is spicy like the one I ate. Sometime, I have to take you around to the different food stands. I have a sneaking suspicion there'll be a few snacks that will catch your interest. But that will have to be for another day. Huh. The sun is setting. A goodbye to Akiakos and a welcome to Corina. I suppose that puts an end to another wonderful day in Kerajaan Matahari. And at the end of it... You're still hanging in there. <laughs> You'll be a local in no time at this rate. Did you hear that? I could have sworn I heard something. Huh. Perhaps it was just a figment of my imagination? The gods know I certainly have a very imaginative mind. In fact, I need to use that mind of mine to figure out how to go about telling my next story. Well, yes. I already mentioned it would be about the twins of Ephalia. But I need to decide how I go about telling it. People have heard the stories of the twins before, but they come to me to hear my spin on it. There's a flow when storytelling one has to get right if they want to maintain an audience. Exactly. Everyone tends to have their own style when it comes to storytelling. Perhaps you could try your hand at it someday if you ever felt inclined. <laughs> Why would I be upset if you did? Well, that is a rather bold assumption. You think you could steal my patrons so easily? I have been doing this for years. Highly doubt you would be perfect at it from the beginning. <laughs> we will see, little stallion. Um, I think my brain is getting very, very imaginative because I just heard those noises again. You heard it this time too? Truthfully, I'm not sure if I'm comforted by that or not. Now it just seems... more real. No, that doesn't seem like an animal up on the rooftops. Or at least I've never heard such a thing before. A criminal? I don't know how criminals operate in the Grand Duchy, but... Criminals here tend to just walk up and threaten you with a sword. They like to skip over the jumping from rooftop to rooftop part. I'm not being an ass on purpose. I've never been anywhere further than the capital. For all I know, criminals and stelios could wait atop buildings and pounce on their targets. We can always just walk faster and hope that it was simply the non-existent wind. <gasps> um... That's definitely not the wind. No. I'm not. You didn't think you could run away, little noble. Did you? <laughs> Too shocked to speak. I see you've tried to start a new life for yourself here. Even made yourself a little friend. Dragging more people into your problems. You never learn. 
I suppose you thought that being so, so far away, we wouldn't be able to find you. But you should know better than anyone that we don't stop until our job is done. Speaking of, your family is waiting for you in the arms of a needless goddess. I'll help you join them. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Stellion, this is not the time to be freezing up. Run! I take it you know this person? What do you mean, sort of? That woman called you Little Noble. Wait, you're a noble? Who are you? I thought you were just a nobody like me. <sighs> Once we find a hiding spot, you have so much to tell me. After nearly getting a knife stuck in me, I'm not letting you evade my questions anymore. <laughs> Isn't it about time to give up? All you do is run. Eventually, there won't be any more countries to flee to. <laughs> Quick, down the alley. Don't let go of my hand. If anyone knows how to disappear in Tekopatani, it's me. <laughs> they can have all the connections they want. Nothing replaces the knowledge of someone who's lived here their entire life. Can't lie. I'm barely used to running away from various sorts of people. Not everything I partake in is completely honest. But never done something so bad the ones chasing me wanted to kill me. Turn right. I would just steal food or cheat at cards or something. At most, if I was caught, I'd get beat up. But no one ever catches me. And frankly, I want to keep that record on going. Look behind us. Do you see the assassin? No? Hopefully the twists and turns confused her for a while. But just in case, follow me. Help me move this board. <clears throat> Crawl in. Just do it. I'm not sure about you, but I don't want to be roaming around just as the sun is descending. Next thing you know, we both get stabbed in the middle of the night. This is one of my hiding spots. We can stay here for the night. Keep going. It opens up towards the end. I need to make sure the entrance is covered back up properly. It's not the best accommodations, but it will have to do for now. I haven't needed to be here in a while, so it's more than just a little dirty. But at least there's some leftover things we can use. And you have a lot of explaining to do, Noble. You can start however you wish. But by the end, I wish for a proper explanation of who you are and why there is a group that demands your head. I mean, are you even from Stelios? Why would a noble from the Grand Duchy ever want to run away? Especially to somewhere like Kerija and Matahari, where plenty of things are different, and you were working for literal coins when you likely lived in some illustrious manner the likes of which I would never know. Tragedy? Something happened, didn't it? And because of it, you fled. First Dretch and Frey, then here. But, like that assassin said, they will keep just hunting you down. Could you tell me what happened all the way back in Stelios that pushed you to leave in the first place? Is it really so horrible that you won't speak of it? 
I suppose if it is still so raw, we can leave it aside to discuss another time. <sighs> you know, when I joked about you having special connections all that time ago, I didn't think you would be this special. No offense. But what will you do now? You've been found. Tekopatani isn't so large you can hide amongst the crowds while a killer stalks you. Eventually, you'll die. However, at the same time, there doesn't seem to be a place you can run to where you won't be dragged down in the end. So, what is the point in doing it? Tell me. Are you happy in Tekopatani? I know things are different than your home at times, and you are living a far less luxurious life than the one you knew. But think of the people around you, and consider everything aside from the woman trying to stab you, and ask, are you happy here? <laughs> well, if you are happy here, then don't leave. Yes, I did say you would die, but that is in the scenario that you would be facing this assassin and her friends alone. If you are going to stay, then we will protect you. You don't have to be alone anymore. By we, I mean Tekopatani. We might not be highly trained assassins or anything of the sort, but... We can certainly keep one person safe. You would not believe the sorts of things people around here get up to. Secrets around every corner. <laughs> yes, I certainly can't get everyone in the city on board with the Protect the Stelian initiative, but you might be surprised how far my connections run. However, if this idea doesn't come to fruition and I can help you escape the city. Best thing I can think of off the top of my head is sneaking you over to the capital and calling in a favor to get you passage to either the Empire or... away from Wunderam. I am not a fan of that idea either. So, why don't we try out my way first? We don't have anything to lose. <laughs> 